Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 21st of February. I'm James Spann. Storms are gone. The sun back in full force today. We'll see some clouds on Sunday. What about the chance of rain up this way? We'll take a look at that and much more. And we turn colder next week, too. This is the uh, big picture this morning, the vigorous upper trough that brought these strong to severe storms last night, pushing everything out of here. Here's a look at the uh, storm reports from yesterday and last night. You can see... Uh, several reports of strong straight line winds across the uh, northern part of Alabama. Storms weakened as they moved into the eastern part of the state after midnight. Seems like the most serious damage was up around Fort Payne, up in uh, DeKalb County, where uh, a roof was taken off an apartment complex about 1230 this morning. And uh, some tractor trailers were blown around a business at uh, the Fort Payne exit on I-59. But down this way, just scattered trees and lines down. Uh, Alabama Power Company reporting about 25,000 in the Birmingham area with no power at daybreak, but those should be restored pretty quickly. Getting colder in the wake of the cold front, down to 37 at Haleyville, Birmingham at 45. Those were taken at 5 o'clock. The high today will be around 60. But the good news, the sun will be back in full force around the nation. Very cold air back in the northern states and we're going to see that really uh, next week. Uh, the guidance is expected trending colder here by Wednesday and Thursday of next week as highs go back in the 40s and lows go back in the 20s. Here's the watch warning map. Uh, still got a severe thunderstorm watch up for looks like parts of Georgia and extreme southeast Alabama. Up north, still blizzard warnings for Iowa and Minnesota. Those will be canceled soon as that storm is winding down. Severe weather threat today from near Jacksonville, Florida to Delaware and Chesapeake Bay, east of Alabama. And here's the rain for the next five days. This is valid through Wednesday morning of next week, and this is suggesting heavier totals near the Gulf Coast, and that's with that wave on Sunday. And the big question is how far north will that rain extend? And this is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 12 noon today at 500 millibars. Troughing rotating well to the northeast. Down below that, the storms are well east of here. And the sky will be sunny. And again, the high right around 60. Great day. Tomorrow, we'll start the day with lows down in the middle 30s. The high should be in the middle 60s. The sky will be sunny. A very pleasant afternoon. But this is the big question on Sunday, that impulse on the Gulf Coast. Clearly, it's going to rain Sunday in places like Mobile and Dothan, uh, probably Montgomery. The question is, can it extend the, up this way into parts of north-central Alabama? Well, let's look at the high-res NAM, and it says, yes, it can. Uh, the NAM is hinting that there could be a touch of light rain, a few showers, maybe as far north as Highway 278, Hamilton to Coleman to Gadsden, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and insert the chance of some rain on Sunday here in respect to that. But clearly, the most widespread rain and the heaviest rain should be across the southern half of the state. Monday, that impulse is on by. And by the way, Sunday should be pretty mild with highs in the 60s. Uh, Monday, we call it partly sunny with mid-60s. This is Tuesday. We note that 1047 high north of Montana. It's pretty cold air coming down the line, but uh, that should be a... Fairly nice day. Again, a mix of sun and clouds with highs in the 60s. But Wednesday, here comes the cold. Cold air advection. Uh, the latest GFS, as expected, has dropped the high in the 40s. We've talked about that. Here's Thursday. Big troughing over the northeast and some uh, cold air settling in here. Uh, this would suggest only low 40s, low to mid 40s here, and maybe 30s over the Tennessee Valley. So uh, the cold air, it's back. And then Friday, we start to warm up. That's the nice thing about these late-season cold shots. They don't tend to last too long. And next week, looking generally rain-free. I think that week should be mostly dry. 
Let's take a peek into March. Do we dare do that? This is March 4th. That looks kind of like a severe weather event, doesn't it? Big old deep surface low north of here. And on March 8th, got troughing on the east coast down below that. Shot of colder air as the 540 line is down there below Montgomery and a whopper of a storm is just east of the uh, U.S. Atlantic coast. We all know it can be pretty cold here at times into uh, March and even early April. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.